Hello everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to the crazy life that is Cryptus. So last episode we discovered that Krypta is in fact a Pregos with an alien baby. And we kind of need a lot of money because yeah, children are expensive and at this moment we have no money. <laughs> Okay, so already today I am going to have to deduct 150 simoleons because it is a new season, which means we need to renew our bus pass. And a new season also means that our plants are not okay, they're not gonna produce any fruits anymore. Um, our lemons, of course, will, because I think they are all around, like, every season they will grow, but everything else, not so much. Oh my gosh, Krypta maxed the gardening skill! Wow, she literally just sold her lemons and it was like, level 10, baby! <laughs> So, for today, I also really, really do want Krypta to start working on her Charisma skill again, because we kind of need her to be level 8 of the Charisma skill before she can get married, and I do think that that is closer in her life than it obviously was when she was a teenager, so I do want to start working on getting her Charisma skill up a lot before we have to get rid of the tiny house, because I don't think we're going to be able to keep this for that much longer, especially, I think we can keep it until the child is like a toddler and wants to age up into a child, maybe then we definitely cannot keep it this small anymore. So I'm just gonna have her work on her charisma skill a bit before we go out because it's Sunday, she doesn't have to open the restaurant today, but I do really want her to invite Casey over a little bit and then maybe go out on a date with her. Oh, yeah, alien baby, definitely alien baby. <laughs> well, it's not like Crypto doesn't know about aliens, I mean, she literally is one. Oh! Oh my gosh, wait, Casey's like right over here. But we're very sad, so I don't know. I want to invite her inside, but I literally can't. Not for the next 30 minutes. Okay, she's confident we can go ahead and talk to Casey a bit because her emotions are now stable again. I don't know how long it's going to be stable, but hopefully long enough because I really would like for her to get to know Casey a lot better. Muffin, what are you doing? Again, I'm just gonna keep my finger on the pause button because I do not want Casey to find out that we are an alien yet. So if her emotions go wild, I'm going to stop the conversation immediately. <gasps> Oh, we got a lot of royalties! I definitely want her to write a book again. I do not think we're gonna write a book today, but I definitely do want them... Well, them. <laughs> I do want Krypta to write a book again. Look at this cute little moment, them looking at the clouds, being all cute and stuff. She's such a pretty sim. I'm glad I added her into this save file because... If they have babies, it's gonna be real pretty babies. <laughs> oh, this really lets the relationship go up a lot. I'm just gonna speed up time a little bit. I do want them to go on a date. Look at that, they're good friends. Wow, but anyway, I do want them to go on a date today. So their relationship being this high really does help a lot. Oh, I mean, it's a great thing that they glitched because she is now very confident. So let's just go ahead and mop and maybe have um, Krypta go and give Little Muffin a bath as well as c grab herself something to eat and clean the house a bit. Oh, okay, so she is leaving at this point, but this also, the fact that she said I have to go feed my cow plant, that just made me remember that I do want Krypta to find a cowberry fruit because I want her to grow a cow plant. That is part of the challenge. It is something that she has to do to complete another point. But yeah, so I definitely want to do that and I've read up on it and Magnolia Promenade is actually a great place to find the cowberry fruit. Like if you go fishing there, apparently you can find it. The thing is, Krypta, her, she has no fishing skill. Like, she has almost level 2. And I don't think that's really good. So, I... 
As for her charisma, it's almost level 6, which is fantastic. We can definitely work on that some more today or tomorrow, but I do also want her to go on that date I talked about. I don't know how late, but I'm thinking around 5, 6 maybe. I'm just having her clean up a little bit because her bathroom was really dirty. And then I'm again having her practice her charisma skill because, yeah, she cannot do any, like proposing or marrying until she is level 8 and also I want to do it now whilst we have the tiny house okay it is 5 so I do think I am going to actually have her go ahead and ask on a date oh she can like literally only ask Harvey why is her relationship with Harvey so low I thought they were like besties I mean, it's probably fine, we can just invite over Casey, or not, apparently we can't invite over Casey, so I'm just gonna have her practice her speech again, until I actually can invite Casey over, because I cannot ask her out on a date, I forgot that it only gave you limited options, so unfortunately that's not going to be happening right now, maybe we can do it tomorrow after work. I think she's in her second trimester. Her belly is really big for somebody in their second trimester, unless she's in her third trimester and I just did not realize, oh my gosh, now the toilet is dirty. This game, you know, no, no, what are you doing? Nope, nope, we're not doing none of that. Oh, and she's level 7 of the cooking skill. Girl, why didn't you just eat some? Like, you just put them down and you didn't even grab a plate? Okay. Okay, I am actually going to have Crypto go ahead and start writing another book. Let's actually write a fantasy book. Um, I know you're tired, but we're just gonna start writing it. We're not gonna finish the whole book today. Okay, so I'm calling this book The Planet We Call Home. And then basically, to her, she's actually referring to her and all of the aliens, like... Six um, but anybody else reading the book, you know, they're not gonna realize. But I am actually going to have her go ahead and go to bed because it's pretty late and she's really tired. I mean, she is going to be in her third trimester, I believe. In I don't know how late, I believe around 12, but I don't know. Okay, she can actually wake up. I do think I'm going to let her, otherwise she's going to pee her pants. I am working up the money to be able to make the restaurant look a lot better. In fact, I'm actually going to transfer some of my household funds into our restaurant. Just for keepsakes, you know, otherwise I'm going to spend it all without realizing. Okay, I'm just gonna have her do a few things, like tent for the garden. Um, I am in fact actually just going to sell all of these because they're not going to be in bloom again until summer and if I do want seeds I can just go around her home to find them. Okay, she's done everything that I needed her to do at home so I am going to go ahead and just send her to her restaurant. Okay, my cat kept nagging me for attention, so I had to put him on my lap, so if you guys do hear him, I do apologize, but I'm just going to go ahead and open the restaurant and, oh, okay, I think she's probably absolutely terrified by the fact that her belly keeps glowing. As for people she works with, I am actually going to have her go ahead and pay for some training. I'm not gonna do expensive training yet, I do not have the cash for that. But let's go ahead and also praise her. Okay, so I've promoted our host as well as our chef because I feel like they're doing so well and they definitely deserve a promotion. But um, that is also going to be a lot more money that I'm going to have to spend. I did in fact mark up my prices a bit, so I am hoping that it will be fine. But if it's not, I will just mark up my prices again. Why do they only have three stars? Like, are we not doing enough for you people? Because I feel like we're doing more than enough. What is this child doing? Control him! Control the child! I mean, somebody didn't eat, so I'm just gonna eat their sandwich. I mean, she's pregnant, she can do whatever she wants, okay? I really want to get another chef, but that's gonna be so expensive for the chef's table. 
And, um, also another chef, like, not to mention we're gonna have to pay for another human being's work. But, I, <laughs> I mean, the thing is that we're almost five stars. I didn't even notice until now. We're four and a half stars. And I really want them to have five stars eventually. And I am so, so excited to eventually be able to make this place look the way, the way that I want to. But I don't really want to do anything food-wise, like for the menu, until I know I have two chefs capable of doing everything that I want them to. Well, I actually think that's everybody. Everybody's done eating, which does mean we can go ahead and close for today. We made a pretty nice profit. Look at that. It's not like extremely much but look at our sales the only thing that's taking it down a lot is the cost of ingredients and the wages owed but i mean that's understandable i will maybe make our food prices a little bit higher because i mean we're starting to become a fancy place so <laughs> Okay, I'm sending her home because I do want to invite over Casey so that we can get a little bit of a romance with her and then go out on a date. Okay, we're at home and I did invite over Casey immediately, but I am going to just greet her, say a few things and then get a little bit of romance with her. I'm going to just flirt with her a little bit i know it's not gonna go up immediately but i really want to what was that no don't do that oh my goodness i'm going to just flirt and just probably just hope that we get our romance bar up slightly wait we literally already have a romance bar with her we can go out on a date <laughs> Let's ask on a date. Let's ask Casey on a date. Okay, I sent them to the cafe, so I'm going to have them just chat a little bit, flirt, and get their romance and stuff up a bit. We can actually already have our first kiss, so I am going to go ahead and do that. So that we can hopefully, you know, just have a romantic little moment to kiss. <gasps> They're gonna have their first kiss, oh my gosh! Oh, this is so romantic! Something I definitely want to do also is woohoo with somebody without them knowing that we are an alien. So I'm going to actually ask her to be my girlfriend. She said yes, which is fantastic. Whoa, that just made their relationship go up a lot. What did she just ask her? She she just told her something. Wait, are they gonna woohoo all on their own? <gasps> They're gonna woohoo all on their own. Casey actually asked Crypto to woohoo with her. That barely ever happens where another sim autonomously asks my sim to woohoo with them. So you know this is exciting. I was gonna do this anyway, but I mean thanks, Casey. <laughs> Look at them in the bush. <laughs> Of everywhere inside of a bush I really hope she doesn't find out we're an alien this way because I kind of want to take that off of my little thingy to say I've done that you know and they're done okay wait wait <gasps> okay she did not find out that we're an alien so that is absolutely fantastic but I know like I just want to chat with her a bit more because i kind of want gold on this date and you really have to chat with your date a lot to get gold i know crypto is like really tired and she also has to go to the bathroom but i just want to like chat get this over with because i don't really send my sims out on dates a lot okay we actually did it if i do end the date now i am going to have a gold date so i actually i'm going to go ahead and end it and we have now a gold date which is fantastic so let us go ahead and go home okay she really has to use the bathroom but she also really needs to go sleep i didn't really want her to go sleep this early but i also will send her off to bed so that she has a lot of energy once she has to go and give birth which i do think is going to happen today 
But we also do have a girlfriend now, which is Casey. I mean, so far Casey has not found out that we are an alien, which is fantastic. But I do think I want to let her know. Maybe in the next episode we tell her, like, Hi Casey, by the way, we're an alien and hopefully that goes well. I'm just going to have her sleep now. I do think that I want her to have a home birth. So what I'm gonna do before she gives birth is actually just move a few things around so that we can place the crib into this room. Okay, I went for this crib because this crib is the prettiest to me personally. It's just so cute with the little curtainy thingy. Oh, I love it so much. But let us speed up time a bit so that we can get on to getting in a labor. Okay, like right now, gone into labor. Crypto is bursting with anticipation. Let's go ahead and have the baby at home. I don't do this often, so this is quite interesting having the baby at home i don't know what happens if she does have twins and i only have one bassinet i like i said i don't have home births a lot in this game <gasps> it's a boy oh i don't know what to call him it's gonna have to be like an alien name so i'm probably just gonna google something real quick okay so i just went on a random alien name generator and this one is just so cute to me. I'm gonna call him Essie. I know it's not really like, whoa, that's an alien name. But Essie is so cute. So this is gonna be Essie Q. And I believe it's only one if the other one doesn't pop up immediately. So yeah, she only had one baby. Look at that little alien baby. Oh, that is so cute. Wait, I need to take a screenshot. That is so cute. Oh, look at that. I think we're gonna have to feed him like instantly. Yeah, like I thought. Bottle feed the baby. But also probably just take care of yourself. Because you definitely need to eat something. Oh. I, I thought that normal baby cries were going to be the death of me. What the heck? Honey, no! You need to leave my child alone! Oh wow, she's level 2 of the parenting skill already, which is great. But I do think that um, maybe next episode we work on her charisma skill a lot more so that we can just get that up so that we can maybe ask Casey to marry us. I don't think that that's going to happen next episode, but I do want that to happen eventually because I feel like Casey's the one. Let me know what you guys think about that, but to me, Casey seems pretty much perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna send her off to bed for a little while longer because I just want her to get her um, energy up completely before she has to go into work. Look at this child! Look at the little face! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, alien babies are definitely something else. <laughs> oh. Little SCQ. Let me know what you guys think about his little name. But I definitely love it a lot. I think SE is such a cute little name. Okay, so Crypto's going to be late to work in the next episode because I do think that I'm going to be ending this episode off here. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody!